So, in my last video I told you guys that the next MonsterVerse project, apparently called Godzilla X Kong Part 3, is going to introduce the iconic Toho Kaiju, King Caesar into the franchise. However, even after giving you all the evidences to support my report, most of you were not ready to believe me, which is why I decided to come up with another video on the same topic. Now before I begin, I request you all to just spend one second of your time to hit the like button, and subscribe to my channel, if you want to see more MonsterVerse related contents on this channel. So, without wasting any more time let us dive right into today's topic. To understand the background of the whole matter, we have to go back to the events of the third MonsterVerse movie, Godzilla King of the Monsters. So, this movie apart from being my favorite in the franchise can also be seen as the launching pad for the MonsterVerse to expand into a major interconnected cinematic universe. Apart from introducing iconic Toho kaijus like King Ghidorah and Mothra into the franchise, the movie also indirectly introduced several other titans while not showing them on screen at any point during its runtime. They were shown to be monitored under different monarch outposts in different locations across the planet. Some of the most notable ones were Behemoth, Typhon, Rodin, Scylla, and Tiamat. And you already know, Scylla and Tiamat also went on to appear in Godzilla X Kong the New Empire, but unfortunately, it also turned out to be their last and final appearance, as both of them got brutally killed at the hands of none other than Godzilla himself. Apart from all these titans that we just talked about, the movie also references a certain kaiju called Sekhmet, who is going to be the main focus of this video going forward. So, in the movie it was shown that at outpost number 65, located somewhere in the deserts of Egypt amidst the giant pyramids, Monarch was monitoring a titan called Sekhmet, which according to director Mike Doherty, is basically a giant larger-than-life lion monster. And those who are familiar with the Toho Kaiju movies from the 90s, would know that there exists a certain kaiju called King Caesar, who was also basically a lion titan capable of walking on his two feet. King Caesar was basically portrayed as the ultimate protector, the savior of the city of Okinawa in Japan. He prefers to remain sheltered within a mysterious cave, unless he is summoned by the Azumi family, who considers Caesar as their guardian angel. The Azumi family is basically a local tribal group of people residing in the jungles of Japan. They are basically like the EV tribe residing within the Hollow Earth, as well as Skull Island. Before we analyze more about Sekhmet and the reports of King Caesar's introduction within the MonsterVerse, let me first give you a brief description of Mr. Caesar for those of you who are not quite familiar. First of all, the most interesting and unique aspect about King Caesar is the fact that he possesses qualities of a lion, a dog, and also a reptile. As you can see, his face has a strong and distinct resemblance with that of a majestic African lion, while at the same time, he also has giant floppy ears like that of a cute little beagle. His body is mostly covered by a thick layer of fur underneath as you can see over here. However, underneath the layer of fur, his body is basically covered with very hard keratinized scales further reinforced with bony plates very similar to that of a crocodile. His rather tough outer body allows him to withstand different forms of attack against his enemies, including intense firearms, large missiles and bombs. Caesar also possesses remarkable speed, athleticism, durability, and fighting prowess. Another interesting thing to note is that just like Titanus Shimo, he has the ability to use all his four limbs to move faster, and at the same time, he can also stand upright on his two feet whenever necessary. Now coming to the MonsterVerse, Sekhmet the Titan could actually be the King Caesar of the MonsterVerse, and he could be the main antagonist of the next movie, based within the franchise, which is basically the sequel to Godzilla x Kong the New Empire. Upon searching for article and trying to search up more information on Sekhmet the Titan, I came to know that Sekhmet is actually an Egyptian goddess. According to Egyptian mythology, Sekhmet is basically considered as the goddess of war, and she has the appearance of a majestic lioness similar to what you can see on your screens right now. And what is really interesting is that just like King Caesar who was shown as a guardian for the city of Okinawa in Japan, in Egyptian mythology, Sekhmet is viewed by the people of Egypt as a warrior, a goddess of healing, and a guardian deity. So, there is undeniable evidence to support the fact that Sekhmet could indeed be the King Caesar of the MonsterVerse. What is really interesting is the fact that, the country of Egypt had a big part to play in the most recent MonsterVerse blockbuster, Godzilla Kong the New Empire. To be more specific, Cairo in Egypt is the same place where we got to witness round 2 of Godzilla and Kong going head-to-head -head against each other. 
There is a reason why Adam Wingard decided to use Egypt out of all places in the world as his setting for round two of the battle between these two heavyweights. And to be honest, the whole fight sequence between these two titans seemed a bit pointless to me, unless you were setting it up for something in the future. If you think about it, it would have been actually better if some of that run time was actually given to the underwater battle between Godzilla and Tiamat, which I thought felt terribly rushed and underwhelming. So, the only logical payoff from their battle in the movie, which I can think of, is to awaken Titan Sekhmet, which is going to make more sense after you hear what I have to say next. I mean, the entire city got absolutely destroyed just because of a silly misunderstanding between these two gorgeous looking gentlemen right here. So, if a titan called Sekhmet really exists within the monster verse who is supposed to be the protector of Egypt, I think this is the perfect time for him to rise and enact revenge. And this makes all the more sense now, because Adam Wingard recently said that the sequel to The New Empire will be focused on the big G, in a way his last two movies were more Kong-centric, if you want to put it that way. Now, I am well aware that Adam is no longer associated with the project, as this young gentleman called Grant Sputor has reportedly taken up the role of directing Godzilla X Kong Part 3. But I think the next movie is still going to be focused on Godzilla anyways, because according to my sources, that was always the plan at Legendary Studios. If I remember correctly, one of my sources having close connections with Legendary Studios told me way back in 2015 that the first priority of the studio was always to make a modernized Toho-styled Godzilla trilogy. So, we have had two solo Godzilla movies within the MonsterVerse so far. And it makes most sense to have a third and final Godzilla movie as the next project within the franchise. The ending of The New Empire made it crystal clear that Godzilla would take up the role of being the protector the savior of the surface world, while Kong would play a similar role for the Hollow Earth. So, if we are actually getting a Godzilla-centric movie, the antagonist would definitely have to be someone residing on the surface world. Now, I know a lot of my viewers were speculating that Destroya or Space Godzilla would be the next kaiju to join the Monsterverse. But speaking from a more practical scenario, if Legendary Studios is smart enough and truly understands the character of Destroya, they should rather not have him introduced anytime soon. That is because Destroya has always been a final boss very similar to Thanos from the MCU. Introducing Destroya so early on, and making him the bad guy in the next movie, would be similar to making Thanos the main antagonist of the second Iron Man movie. Despite the last two movies turning out to be commercially successful, Things still seem to be kind of shaky for the MonsterVerse, and one bad movie at this point can totally ruin the financial stability of this franchise. Let me inform you that, in the Showa Hezei timeline, Destroya had to wait as long as 40 years to develop into a proper kaiju, and make his first on-screen appearance after the Oxygen Destroyer was deployed in the first Godzilla movie of 1954. So, I think Legendary Studios are definitely going to wait for a while before they introduce Destroya into their franchise. Considering everything, I believe King Caesar is the perfect candidate to appear in the next MonsterVerse movie as the primary antagonist. As I said, the stage is perfectly set for Legendary Studios to introduce him taking into consideration how the events of the new empire ended. And speaking from a purely personal standpoint, I would love to see King Caesar being introduced in Godzilla x Kong Part 3, as he is my favorite kaiju, besides the Big G and Kong. So, that is all I have to say in this video. If you enjoyed watching, please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.